This is Eric at Producer Dudes. And in this video, we're gonna talk about adding plugins to audio tracks. And so we have a few ways we could do this. We could click on these, and then the inspector here gets a little bit bigger, and we could go to the inserts and add something like this. So say I want to add an EQ. Uh, let's go on over to Fab Filter Pro Q3, and I can begin to edit this audio. Record, I would be recording audio just like this. And when I hit space or stop, record, I would be recording audio just like this. And when I hit space or stop, record, I would be recording audio just like this. And when I hit space, and so that's one way we could add a plugin to this. Another way we could add plugins to this, is if we go to media, VST effects, and I could find whatever plugin I'm looking for. So let's, let's do a, uh, a dynamics now. Let's add the tube compressor. And I could just drop it on the track like that and it'll add it in line. And let's go ahead and give that a listen. Let's go here. Record, I would be recording audio just like this. And when I hit space or stop, record, I would be recording audio just like this. And when I hit space or stop, cool. That's another way. And the other way I like to add effects is I switch over to the mixer view and I have that key commanded. I'm gonna do another video on some recommended key commands that I took from Pro Tools that make this feel a lot better to me. And what I like to do is go to the mix window. So if you don't have that set up yet, what we could do is down here, we have the editor, sampler controller, chord pads, and mix console. Click on the mix console and we have this set up. There are three buttons here. You have faders, inserts, and sends. Let's go ahead and click on inserts and we can add plugins like this. And so let's have some fun. We're gonna add some chords. Record, I would be recording audio just like this. And when I hit space or stop, record. Now another cool thing about the plugins, there's a few ways we can actually turn on and off to kind of see what difference we're making. So I'm gonna hit play. Record, I would be recording audio. And right here, there's a power button. It's called activate effect. You could turn the effect on and off. And if you look down here, you'll see that it's turning on and off. And that's same for here as well. Now, each spot has a place. You can bypass it here. And you can bypass it here. Now, bypassing lets the effect still run, essentially, or have, you know, whatever it needs to remain in line. You're just taking it out of the, the chain. And so, um, what I prefer to do is I actually just bypass because it's quicker and it matches up to a bunch of other decisions I can make everywhere else. Um, if you want it to stop drawing CPU power, then you turn off the power. You just remove its ability to even technically be hosting as far as the CPU is concerned. And another fun thing you can do, not necessarily fun, but useful, is if you're on Mac, you hold Option and click something, you can copy these over. So say I'm doing the same vocal four times in a row. I'm not really moving from where I'm at. And I just kind of want to have a ballpark idea of a good EQ that'll work. I can copy them over. And this works like that. So that is a basic overview of how you add plugins and use them as inserts.